Hi guys, as some of you might know, I used to be a florist and I'd like to show you how to make the perfect bow. So first of all, you're gonna need some ribbon with wire in it. That's very important. Um, also, you're gonna need some wire, some scissors or wire cutters, and that's it. So first of all, I cut my wire to about this size. There's no specific length, but that's about right. And I get my ribbon and I leave a little tail because you want a little tail sticking out and you just make a loop like you would with a regular bow and pinch it together and twist it and make another loop on the other side and keeping your ribbon straight, you pinch it and twist it. So you do this again, make another loop behind this one. You wanna make it a little bigger than the first one in front of it and pinch it together and twist it. That twist is very important. So you just keep doing this, uh, make your next loop, like I said, a little bigger than the first one pinch it together and twist it. And this actually gets so easy. After you've done it a few times, uh, you can just whip them out in no time. Um, I've made three loops here, and that's about the perfect size bow for anything. And that could be for a floral arrangement, for a gift. Um, you can put it on an Easter basket or absolutely anything. So at this point, you wanna grab that wire that you've cut and you're holding the bow with your thumb and your forefinger and you slip the wire between your forefinger and your middle finger to, to where it's sticking out the back and you can grab it. The other side, you wanna slip it under your thumb to where it's, they're both in the back and you grab both sides and pull the bow away from you like this and just grab those wire and twist them together. You don't want to cut them, you wanna leave them like this. That way you can stick it in a plant, you could tie it on anything, twist it on anything. That wire is very needed. So leave it on there and all you gotta do now is just fluff and straighten your bow, your perfect florist quality bow. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. It was a quick and easy one. I hope it comes in handy for you for years to come. So you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.